What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why is everyone able to learn how to code but you in particular, you can't. Alright, but before I start this video, let me just tell you that I'm doing a Black Friday sale on my website, telmoacademy.com and I have a 50% discount on every course in there. I'm going to put the link in the description, you just need to use the code BF50 and you will have 50% discount on any course. Alright, so let's get into the topic now. Some of the things that might be holding you back to not actually learn properly and then you get discouraged because you feel like you don't have any progress at all. One of the first things is because you are learning like you are watching Netflix. And this is a very popular mistake from people that are starting out, which is you are just watching loads of different videos, you are even reading books, you are actually doing a lot of study. You go every day, you dedicate a bit of time, but then, when you actually should start building something, your head just goes completely blank. And this is completely normal. This is even normal, for example, for those of you that you don't know, I'm actually currently working as a bootcamp instructor. So I'm working on a bootcamp where I'm teaching people to learn how to code, like they don't know nothing until they become actually ready to start their own job. One of the most common mistakes I see in the students is this problem. They watch the classes, they go through the classes, and then when I ask them to actually start to doing some activity, something, what they tell me all the time, and most likely is your problem as well, is that I know what I should do, I know what I want, I just don't know how to translate that into code. So this is the problem because you are just watching other people doing stuff. You might understand it, you might know how it works, but until you actually get your hands into practice of building something by yourself, you will never actually learn. So this is the point really number one. In order for you to learn something, in order for you to actually get the grasps of it, you need to practice, you need to build loads of different things. So this actually leads me on to my next point, which is you are not building enough projects. So in order for you to learn something, you actually need to practice the most that you can. You actually need to build the most projects that you can. One common mistake for people to actually just like, uh, just uh, quitting, saying, oh, this is not for me, this is too difficult, is because they are trying to build projects that they are too difficult for them in that particular point where they are. So let's say you are someone that you are just starting out right now, learning how to code, learning your HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and all of a sudden you just wanna build a full stack project. It's just not going to work. You need to start with very simple projects, things that you can actually do it and finish them and will give you a, a feeling of, a, a rewarding feeling of um, finishing something. So you actually need to try to build as most as you can, like simple projects, things that you can finish. And as you're going through, you can actually increase the difficulty gradually. Now, obviously, there are many places that you can go and build these kind of simple projects and go into more advanced but I always advise you, when you are learning something through a tutorial or, or a course or anything like that, you will not actually learn what you just watched in there until you actually try to put this in practice on your own personal projects. So look at the course, look at something that you have done now that you just learned and try to recreate something similar using that. This will actually put into test if you actually learn the concepts that you were just watching on a course. And this is what I'm telling you guys, you need to build many different things. One thing that you might have done before with other things is that when you are starting out learning something new and you are building something, most likely it's not going to be the most amazing project, even your code quality is not going to be the best. Of course, because you are just starting out. What I advise you is, all of these small projects that you are building, all of these things that you are just finishing now, keep the code of it, keep the folders. Because I can guarantee you, 
after six months or even after a year, if you go and look back at, at the things that you have done, you are going to be like, oh my god, this code looks so horrible. How in the hell did I did something like this? This is natural. And this is going to show you how much you have progressed. All right. So this is another good point for you. And finally, the last thing that I wanted to mention in here, because you are not actually learning nothing, is because you are not dedicating enough time to that particular topic that you are just learning. So let me give you the example. The example in here is that you start, for example, learning some HTML and CSS, you learn a bit of CSS and then you jump onto JavaScript. But then you are learning JavaScript just a bit and you hear everywhere on the internet or your friends are telling you that, you know, PHP is the next big thing. So you just stop learning JavaScript and you jump onto PHP. And then someone else tells you, oh, no, just stop doing whatever you are doing with PHP. Go and learn some Flexbox. And here is the problem. When you are just jumping from topic to topic and you still didn't make like a, a good solid foundation to this knowledge, you will just mess up everything. You will just confuse yourself. So my advice is really when you are learning a particular topic, make sure that you give it enough attention, make sure that you give enough time before you just start jumping onto different topics. This was something that was happening with me and I see with a lot of my students as well. They don't give enough time to something. They just learn it for this uh, couple days and then they just move on to something and you, you will forget about this. When you just dedicate a few days to a certain topic, you will most likely forget about these things unless you put them into practice. All right, guys. So that was it for me on today's why is everyone learning how to code and you are not. Just remember that this is a battle that everyone is going through. And if you really just put yourself into it, you will learn enough to get that job. All right, guys. That was it for me in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.